Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you doing today? How's life in your world? How's things you are? I hope everything is good. Hope everything is great. Hope everything is wonderful. That was a quick open. Um, I've had a few comments off off of YouTube. Uh, personal emails and messages saying that people have been really um, excited about my energy level lately. So thank you. Uh, I am too. I've actually felt pretty up. And I honestly, I talked it out with a co my coworker today, uh, Mike, and... Um, you know, getting that, getting that Mavic Mini drone and like having a purpose and going out and shooting those shots and working on a script for that video that I'm working on, I think that's, that was kind of an input, that was kind of a bit of a momentum and I want to kind of grasp that. So thank you everybody who's noticed that I feel a little bit better. Uh, I'm glad that comes through the camera because I try to be genuine here. I'm not trying to put on face. I'm not trying to be the smiley, happy YouTube guy, like, hey everybody, how are you today? You know, I, I, I try to present myself as genuinely as possible. So, now that I've got the thank yous and the positivity out of the way, let's talk about some negativity. <laughs> um, and that is today's artwork. I have, I've, I've not shared artwork here yet um, that I've been doing on my Instagram, on my personal website, uh, because I don't know why. I think that um, to at least get started, I wanted to have this be its own thing. And I'm going to continue that. I'm not going to continue to show you my artwork every day. But to fill you in, if, you're, if you haven't been following along, I've been attempting to draw something every day. Now, I failed. I haven't drawn something every day. Uh, oh, in the past month, I have drawn 20 things. So I'm already like five or six or seven or eight days behind. Um, so... But that's the point. The point is try every day, not do every day, right? Um, and I'm drawing something, and then I'm taking a picture and posting it on the internet. Now, what I haven't said is that that's the only thing I've drawn that day. I'm really, really just drawing one drawing a day. I'm making it a personal goal to at least do that much. And so far, I have done no extra. I've not done any practice drawings. I've not done anything... Um, that I don't want to say to compromise the day's drawing, but what I have shared so far on my website, ChevyDodd.com, and on my Instagram, Instagram forward slash ChevyDodd, uh, um, what I have done so far has been the first attempt. There's been no practice. <laughs> and it really, really, really shows today. And I'm going to show you a couple of pictures first that I'm kind of proudish of. Um, the, the flogging molly hat you're seeing now, uh, just kind of was like, I, I, I took my hat off, I put it on the table and I drew it. And that was one of the early drawings where I went, wow, maybe I'm not as bad at this as I thought I was because I really just attempted to draw what I saw and it worked out well. Uh, my Nintendo switch is the same exact way. But these have all been, you know, I've had decent references, and I've had objects in front of me that I thought, I think I can do that. Um, what I've been experimenting with lately is more of a uh, design attempt. So this book, uh, I, I've, I've worked on the idea of doing woodcut carving. And this book was an attempt at trying to lay out a black and white image, uh, and it just fell apart as soon as I added the shading, and I hate it. It is what it is. This USB drive was the number two attempt at woodcut style, and I like it. I think I did okay. The cross hatching looks okay. Round is hard to do. Um, so as I'm working towards trying to figure out if woodcut is a thing I'm going to attempt, uh, I have the tools. I bought these tools like two years ago. I have the tools. Uh, I can I could sit down right now with a piece of wood and attempt a woodcut. But I don't know what I want to draw. I don't know what I want to try. And I think this is definitely one of those skills where I have to ruin 30 pieces of wood before I ever get one that I'm okay with. So I want to try to find something that is simple-ish, but it uh, has enough complexity to keep me interested. So I've been working on that. And part of this process has been, you know, how do I develop uh, my style? So this, this feather that I did, um, my style. This heart and key, my style. Um, my new initials logo, my style. And 
as I did the heart and key, I thought, I really like it, but I want to fill that white space with something. And so I'm thinking like paisley or like traditional scroll work or, or the, I think it's acanthum leaves that are like classic Greek and Roman sculpture type stuff. <laughs> so the thing is I need to learn how to do those and I have no references on how to do those. I have no, nothing to look at other than just an internet search. So today I decided I was just going to attempt a, a leaf. And this is the disaster that fell forth from my hands. And, you know, looking at it, it's bad. It's not horrific, but it's really bad. And it needs a whole lot. Um, but the, I think the key here is it's okay. Like, the whole point of this thing is trying. The whole point of this thing, the whole point of this, this experiment right here in this book is just giving it a shot. Could I have sat down and drawn a bunch of... of of spirals and tried to work out the geometry before I uh, committed it to the page and pen. Yeah, I could have done that, but that wouldn't that wouldn't be genuine. Now, if I'm going to continue learning that style, I'm not going to share, f you know, f 15 days of me trying to draw these leaves or 15 days of me trying to draw scroll work. I will do that on the side when it comes time. But I wanted to give it a shot. That's what I came up with today, and it turned out badly. And I'm really happy that it did because that means I'm uh, I'm not overconfident. That means that I'm not underconfident. That means that I gave it a shot. It's not horrific. It's bad, but I can fix it, and I can fix it through practice. And so now it comes down to spending some time learning the forms, and then figuring out how to apply those forms to shapes that I want to carve or draw. And that's a good thing. I like learning. I love it. And, you know, that's part of the reason why when I do attempt my first woodcut, uh, I want it to be a little complex. I don't want to just cut a cube into a piece of wood. Uh, I don't want to just, you know, do some basic shapes. I want to have something that's a little more complex. And when I screw it up, I'll throw that piece of wood over or out and I'll start over again on the same complex thing. And I'll keep doing that until I get one that I'm happy with. So I don't know what it is yet. It might be that feather. It might be something else. I haven't decided, but I'm still exploring the whole medium. I'm waiting today. I've got a package coming from UPS that'll have, um, I, I ordered an art book that's just collections of medieval woodcut. So we'll see what's in there and maybe that'll give me some, some inspiration. But I wanted to share that with you. I wanted to share my failure because uh, I have preached for a very long time that uh, failure is the bridge to opportunity and learning. And I fully believe that. And uh, there you go. It is what it is. So that's what I have for you today. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends, being wonderful, amazing, beautiful people. I appreciate you, and I will see you tomorrow. Today's episode was brought to you by the word abscond, a verb to leave in a hurry but quietly so as to escape notice, especially to avoid trouble. Bored out of his wits, Jared absconded with the family Mercedes, but he wrapped it around a large oak tree. Abscond, A-B-S-C-O-N-D.